Hello, okay, this assignment is for students in the intermediate 3D CLO class. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to take an animation. We're gonna take one of the frames from an animation and we're gonna turn it into a pose. So this gives you a lot of resources for interesting and cool poses. Um, I'm not gonna make you rig this guy into a pose again we're just going to go find an existing animation and we're not going to use just the ones that clo gave us you can of course like go to clo's website find more animations but i want to introduce you to maximo as another great site that has actually teamed up with clo it's a little funky but we can get through this okay so let's just look at maximo real quick what am i talking about here here it is this is the website by adobe um, you can create a free personal account and, um, and it has lots of different animations that we can actually apply to Clo. I already uploaded one previously, you can see, <laughs> testing it out. So we're gonna pick one of these animations and then we're gonna take one of the frames as the pose. So I wanted to take, for example, this guy, him pointing as the pose is what we're gonna do. Okay, so in order to do this, we have to be aware of rigging. What the heck is rigging? Um, that's basically, let me get that out of the way, the bones inside of this avatar. Let me see if I can get like a decent view of this. I don't know, this isn't that helpful, but maybe you can kind of see the bones in here and it tells you where like the little circles are like the joints of where it bends. So this avatar is from Clo and he is already rigged. But apparently, from what I've heard, is that the rigging in uh, Maximo sometimes is different than the way that uh, the avatars are rigged in Clo. Okay, maybe it'll work out. Maybe skip this step and it'll work. But, um, but it's recommended to save this avatar that already exists, but save him without the rigging. Then you can go to Maximo and upload this avatar, the avatar and apply the Maximo rigging, because then you know it's gonna work really well with their animation that they have. So then, once this avatar is uploaded in Maximo, we added the Maximo, just basic rigging, then you wanna download that basic rigged avatar in this amazing T-pose position, or A-pose, whatever you wanna call it, boring pose, no animation. You wanna download him so that you have him and you can open it in Clo. you'll import it and you'll save it in Clo. save as an avatar then it has Clo's special avatar extension avt because when you download the avatar with the new rigging from maximo it's not going it's going to be like an fbx extension it's not going to be the fancy avt okay so that's kind of boring we're just uploading it re-rigging it, downloading it, importing it in Clo, and saving it as an AVT so that we can use it. It's like, can I just use this? I don't know, maybe you can, but I think you do need to do that extra step so that the rigging is is the, the Maximo rigging. Then for the fun part, then you can go to Maximo, pick out your animation, apply it, download that FBX, and then you're gonna open that FBX in Clo. It's not going to anything to do with this guy yet. He's just in your pocket. You'll open up the new one that's animated. You'll go over here from simulation to animation and you'll see it's animated. You'll pause one of the frames and export it as a pose. Close it all out. Go back. Open up this guy. That's going to be our newly rigged um, avatar that's standing like this guy, but he has the rigging from Maximo. And then you can apply the new pose that you saved. Hmm, that's a mouth load. There's an outline in the instructions too of what I just said, and I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that right now. Hooray. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna download, this is a Clo avatar, rigged by Clo. I'm gonna download him, I'm gonna get rid of the rigging because I want new rigging. So I'll say file, save as um, avatar. You have to remember where you're saving it. So for me, I'm gonna save it in my downloads folder. And I'm gonna do, um, I'll say Clo Unrigged. Help me with that one. Save. Okay, oh, sorry, let me try that again. Uh, export, there we go. Export FBX. <laughs> 
Export FBX, sorry. Okay, here we go. Let's try that again. Let's go to downloads. I'm gonna uh, kind of want to steal that same name I just took. There we go. But let me, okay. Um, I'm gonna name it Clo Unrigged FBX. Okay, so I have to export it as FBX. Save. Okay, here's my pop-up window. Uh, export all. Uh, no, we are going to exclude the rig. That's the whole point here. We don't want the rigging. That's why we're doing this extra work. So you have to make sure you check that to exclude the rigging. Um, in the video I watched, they chose binary 2012, even though the video was recorded like in 2022 maybe. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead with the old version as well. And I think this is everything, single object, unweld, 100% scale, leaving it, um, yeah, binary. Okay, so let me go ahead and say okay. Okay, so it's been saved. So let's go to Maximo now. And I'm going to upload a character. And it can only upload FBX or OBJ, I guess, zip as well. So I'm gonna click here. There's my FBX, no rigging. Okay, great. Now we need to now add the rigging from um, Maximo. So we'll say next. And basically you just put these little dots in the places it tells you, kind of like this photo. So the chin is gonna be a spot and I love how it zooms. So let's get it on the chin. Um, the wrist, left wrist, put it on the guy's left hand. So make sure you know the difference. There's a nice little view. I uh, hope I do a good job. Okay. Um, elbows, this is the right elbow. This is his right elbow. Okay. And then the knees. Don't want to get it twisted. Okay. And then the groin. Um, the video I watched, the person put it too low and it was kind of funny. I think this one is kind of a weird spot for certain dances. So if you have a dance that looks funny, you might have to go back and re-rig it in a different spot. Okay, I believe we're good. So I'll say next. And it's rigging it for us with a Maximo rig. That will work really well with all their animations. Okay. He's ready to go. Let's say next. So if you're not happy, if something's weird, you can go back and move your little rigs around, but I think I'm okay. I'm gonna hit next. Okay, so proceed with this character. My previous one won't be saved. That's fine. I don't need that other one. Um, okay, so now we need to download the character. So what I'm gonna do is X out this animation that says kneeling pointing. Okay. And then I want to download this guy as is. And this is gonna be the guy that I will open and close and save as an avatar. Cause he's gonna, when you download him, he's gonna be FBX. So I have to import him as an FBX and then it'll be an avatar. And then I'll save as avatar and have that awesome clo extension and do all the clo magic. So I have to do that and just keep him in my pocket. Um, FBX 6.1 is fine. T pose is great. And I'll say download. Okay, so I have to save this guy. Don't forget where he is. So he's in my downloads. Okay, so there he is. He's apparently parentheses number one. It's gonna get confusing. Eeks. Okay, now I can go ahead and upload my image. Should I upload that one of the guy? Point. There. Okay, I'll do that one. Okay, looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and download this animation. Download has more information than that basic one did. I'll say yes with the skin. Um, I'll say none for keyframe reduction. 30 seconds is good, FBX 6.1. Okay, so the, what I'm downloading now is the animated avatar, which I'm just gonna use to open and close to steal the pose. Okay, so his name is Kneeling Pointing. So I'm gonna go and open him right now in Clo. Um, and steal his animation to turn it into a pose. Okay, so I'm gonna go file new, and then file import, uh, it's an FBX file. 
and it's called Neoline Pointy. That was my animation guy that I just downloaded. Um, avatar is good. Object type, scale 100%. I think all of this is okay and good. I'll say okay. The suit can't be created. That's okay. Uh, it has to be in T-pose. That's okay. I'm just going to ignore it. We don't care. We are going to go to simulation and we're going to change it to animation. And then we have this red bar here and I can move this and I don't need to view this um, bones anymore. Okay. So I'm going to move this slider down at the bottom. Oh no, there it goes. Whew, that wasn't working for a second. Okay. So there's my animation, right? So I, I just wanted to get a pose of him pointing. <laughs> that was my goal. So you can choose any pose that you want. It's just when you have an animation, you have a collection of like this has, looks like I'm guessing like 116 frames. So I have 116 technically different poses I can steal from. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to make a pose, a clo pose. So I will say file, save as pose. Great. And it's going to have that magical pose extension dot POS that we love in Clo, and I just have to remember where I'm saving it. Maybe you wanna be organized and save it with the Clo poses that are probably in your documents folder. I think for this particular thing, yeah, maybe actually that's where I am right now. I think I'm in hand documents and I'm under pose. So I'm under, uh, let's see, this one says Nathan, Anna. Oh, I don't know, I'm kinda of scared. I'm gonna do the wrong thing. Okay, I think just to be safe for this video, I'm just gonna to go to downloads. I'm just gonna save it in my downloads folder, which is probably not the smartest, but um, and it needs a name. So I'll just call it my Maximo Pose. Okay, save. And then I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna go back to simulation um, and I am going to say, because remember he is not saved with that uh, T pose or A pose that that initial window popped up. So I'm gonna say file new project. And now I'm gonna say um, uh, import or add. I'm gonna say add, no, I'm gonna say import FBX. I'm gonna go get that boring avatar that I saved that was re-rigged with the Maximo rigging. Okay. Um, great. So that was this one, unrigged, with the one parentheses. This is bad that I'm being so unorganized with my names. Yes, it opens avatar, 100%. All this looks good. He should be in our good pose. It says fitting suit can't be created, but I'm just going to say okay. Okay, this is actually okay. So now I'm going to say file, save as avatar. Um, it's kind of bad I'm doing this in my downloads folder. It's probably smarter to do it in my organized clo folders, but I will just say, oh God, new clo avatar for my demo video. I'm not proud of my organization right now. Okay. And just for fun, I'm going to do new project. Okay. Now I'm going to open up an avatar file, open avatar. I'm going to go find my guy. There he is. Cool. And okay. So now I can go ahead and add the pose. So I know it's not going to be in my fancy pose folder because I saved it in my downloads. I probably get my downloads folder over here. Let's see if I go uh, import add. No, not import. I just wanted to say add. Nope. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do, I guess I will go to, I'm going to add just my folder here. So I'll add downloads. Well, let me just do that. Open. Okay. So I have a shortcut to downloads. So I'm going to double click downloads and I have to go find my pose. Mm, so messy. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Okay. What did I call it? Maximo pose. So it starts with an M. There it is. Double click. Okay. Hey, now I got my pose that I can get my photo for. So we did all that work just to get a unique, interesting pose um, as well. So that's how you do it. All right. Reach out if you guys have questions. I'm excited to see 
how this whole project turns out with all the other things you're adding to the avatar as well. Um, great.